Hello, everybody, my name is Kadem. Welcome back for another video of Civ 6. We're going to continue today the campaign with uh, the Pirates, boys. Now, what I'm going to do, boys, today, I'm going to give you two videos. I, at least I tend to uh, give you two videos. This one uh, that I was supposed to do uh, yesterday and uh, Far Cry that I was supposed to do uh, today. So I'm going to do uh, still do uh, Far Cry for you today, boys uh, and girls. So what happened yesterday, while well, I skipped this turn really quick, what happened yesterday is basically I I tried to record a video about Civ 6, but the Elgato, uh, which is my capture card, do, it wouldn't work. So I had to basically I say fuck it, uh, like I had to abandon my uh, my stuff and whatnot. So I couldn't do a video yesterday because of that. But today we're good. Seems like everything's working fine, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, right now I was working on uh, getting back my archers over to my territories, boys, because I want to upgrade them into crossbowmen's. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to upgrade uh, my my archers, un my archer units, while also uh, focusing on my catapults. All my other units, I'm going to of course send them over here, since. Uh, over here since we're still at war with that guy okay Geneva we already have a road we don't have a road to Paris but Paris is all the way over there so I don't think it's really that important I would prefer to have like Port Royal have a road towards Paris so maybe we could do that I think I believe that would be pretty good let's do that in exchange but in order to do that we need to transfer him to Port Royal, all right. Okay, let's just send our unit right here. Then the resourceman right here, boys. It's gonna go, of, of course, at war with uh, the other units. I'm just gonna send from this side my catapult. All right, so we gotta get it. We're gonna have at least two catapults bombarding these cities right here. Uh, I'm. I still have my suzerains working on it. Uh, turning their backs towards uh, these guys, but it's gonna take some time, I believe. There we go. Uh, 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 all right, get rid of all of that. I can't get rid of it. Uh, that's that's fine. Okay, so we're gaining 108 gold per turn, which is a lot, boys. It's actually really a lot, and I, I like it. I like it, but I don't know what to do with the money just yet. I don't know what I was. I don't remember what I was waiting for exactly. Uh, there is this stuff I can build settlers and builders with my faith. Okay. Is there anything I need to build? Absolutely. Like, is there a builder I need or something like that? Can't quite remember, boys. See, there's the thing right here. I can't remember if I had to build something. I don't think I did. I don't think I had to build somebody or something. So, okay, we don't have anything here. Let me just check everywhere just to be sure that really the uh, cities I cannot like uh, help them upgrade themselves a little bit more. No, all right. So we already have everything. Let me say about the builders. That's already built. We got everything really. Uh, has this been built? I don't know, boys. I don't think it was. Uh, this guy's still exploring. I think. Okay, we're just gonna wait it out. Because I don't know what I was doing with my money just yet, boys. I really don't know. So, I just gonna have to wait it out, I guess, and see what exactly I had in plan. Maybe I'll see you later on. We got a new great person, boys, that we just unlocked, which is uh, a great merchant. With really good. Uh, let's see where he is. He's right there. So let's go ahead and equip him. Um, I can't don't quite remember what they can do for us actually maybe okay if i send him here what's gonna do grants a free trader unit in this city increases trade route capacity by one foreign trade routes to this city okay 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 so wh wherever i send him he's gonna be able to get like another trade route or whatnot well i might as well i might as well transfer him to uh, Nassau instead. Uh, yeah, the, over there. I'm gonna transform my merchant to Nassau so that he can build stuff. And 
They give me another trade route, but also the trade route I'm going to get, I kind of want him to have a road over here, have roads that are building towards here uh, as well. So that's what we're going to work on, I guess. There's my archer unit. He's almost there. Almost uh, good for... So let's... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, fuck. I sent my um, other archer unit the wrong position, boys. I've got 800 gold right now. Like, I'm doing way fine. Way too... Way too good on money. That's, I mean, that's, I mean, I guess that's good. Let me see if I cannot build anything, boys, really quick. In one turn, we're gonna actually be a population of uh, 11 over Okraki Inlet, boys. I have a lot of people over there. Do I have, like, all my faith is good, so I don't have to worry about that, really. I just don't know if there's anything that's built over there. I think that's already built. Yeah, I don't have any like resources I need to like I don't need, I don't need any builders really. I have all the resources I need. I don't want to quickly purchase a tile or anything for no reason. Yeah, let's just keep our money and I guess once we really if we really need like military units or whatnot, we can spend that money on that. Lighthouse was the sign assure of all our We just finished the great lighthouse. All right. It's good. We finished construction as well. Um, all right, so that's good. We've got the great house right here, boys. It's it's beautiful. It really be it really is beautiful. Be cl so close to the city and whatnot of Principe. Let's get our new technology. See what we can search for. Uh, we should get either military tactics or one of these uh, three. I'm gonna go for uh, castles just because I want to have bigger, uh, better walls and whatnot. Uh, we do need to choose for a new production. Uh, I'm gonna go for this wonder, I guess. This is the only thing that I can search for right now or go for. So why not? Let's go over here. Let's re uh, go over there. It's gonna take 45 turns. That's a lot. But, you know, it's gonna. Be, I, I have a feeling it's gonna be worth it, boys. Okay. So we've got all these suzerains. I do need that for sure. Zanzibar. How about if I focus a little bit more as well on Babylon? He could help me out. But Yerevan would be really good as well because I do need faith. So let's go for Yerevan instead. There we go. So Zanzibar just declared war. Yeah, because I think there's my suzerains now. That's good. Okay. Catapults over here. I think I know actually now that I uh, what I want to do with the units uh, with my money boys I want to try and purchase uh, Buenos Aires units. They've got a lot of, uh, of those a lot of units so maybe I could like purchase those units and For a couple of turns and really do some big damage Okay, upgrade you to a crossbowman. You're officially OP really good Okay, that's my merchant right here. He actually can't do anything right here. Which is a shame. So he can't do anything? Okay, I guess I'm gonna send him back to Okraki Inlet then. And what is what's gonna do what we're gonna do is since he can't do anything, we're gonna get the trader over here, we're gonna send him back to Nassau boys. And with Nassau we're gonna get a trade route. I really wanna get that trade route done. Uh, what about yeah this archer as well i do i really want made a mistake uh, last time i really want my archer to be able to uh upgrade itself into a crossbowman as well let's see if we cannot um levi the military i can't do that is brenos eras not my suzerain anymore they are they are my suzerain but i can't levi them uh, Levi their military um, 815. Oh, I, I don't have enough yet. I just don't have enough gold in the next turn I will have enough though Gills is done actually Sorry. too boys. Uh, so we got gills uh, Eureka moment done. All right nice. So since we got gills we should be really doing fine well, Let's just yeah, I want to send this uh, Catapult over here Send uh, this catapult over here as well. They are almost in range with my two catapults to take care of these uh, bad boys. 
uh, I am not gonna send on, until my catapults are here I'm not gonna send my uh, Jack Rackham to the the walls because I don't want him to to start uh, losing health for no reason so let's get back our crossbowman over here that I was sending let's uh, get to our archer as well over here uh, yeah this guy I'm gonna send him here do his stuff there we go you I'm gonna transfer you to Nassau there we go transfer you to Nassau okay next stop um, we said we wanted to well first let's choose a new civic voice just to be sure okay we've got choices here mercenaries medieval fairies or uh, this right here which would give us theocracy I guess we could go for a reformed church mm, I think I would uh, I kind of want to go for yeah I want to go for uh, reformed churches boys okay we got a new governor so let's see okay these two already have bonuses let's get this guy a bonus um, plus growth plus hundred percent towards industrial zone buildings in the city yes I want that more uh, more production is always good okay Breno Serras I'm gonna actually oh before we do that that's a new fun god damn there's so many stupid stuff okay so hundred percent industrial zone agencies bonuses that would be production and whatnot I don't know boys well, what's the next thing? No, okay, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend anything on that. Okay, let's just go for Breno Serras, boys. Uh you, okay. I want to live I your military, alright? Give me that. Give me give me all that you got. It's all mine now, okay. So I just live I this military for seven hundred and fifty gold, I think. I've got some time, I've got thirty turns. So I've got his military units for 30 turns, boys. I'm going to use his military units better than he, he probably would have used them. Uh, and I'm going to try to, like, attack this city with gr my great forces and whatnot. Okay. This is done. I don't need that. Okay, whatever. Let's just skip the turn for now because it doesn't seem like I can uh, really uh, use them uh, that, mo uh, that quick. Okay, right now, boys, I'm doing a pretty great job at really doing my stuff, really invading the cities with the, all the units I have. I can't uh, attack just yet with that catapult because it it just got in position. Let's see what kind of damage we can get because I know that when we attack, we like uh, we do not attack the walls or we do really good amount of damage to the walls. Okay, so we did pretty good there. I'm actually gonna do that. Plunder is stuff. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. Well, we do have our catapults or two catapults right here uh, I'm gonna attack this uh, fortress. I really need to bring down that fortress boys. It's gonna be really important to do that All right, let's see how much I think the walls are actually down. Yeah, the walls are, are uh, Officially down. So that's good. So now we can really focus on destroying this we're going to destroy the encampment first, boys. And once we destroy the encampment, uh, we can do anything we want, really. We can start uh, focusing on a lot of stuff. We've got, I, I got a lot of, of units because of like the, the what they gave me. They gave me a lot of units to work with, so that's really good. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got all these units. We've got like a, hun uh, a lot of a lot of our uh, a lot of our swordsmen, boys. I don't necessarily know what to do with them. Um, let me just send my catapult over here. Uh, catapult's already going to be preparing itself for the attack. Inevitable assault against Nuglu Mapu. And Toronto is actually doing a great job while I skip the turn right here. Toronto is doing a great job, boys, attacking um, Puel Mapu. So all three of the cities are in danger right now. He's not going to win the war for sure. With all the suzerains I have at my disposition, all the units, like he, he's not going to last long and he's really not going to last long. Okay, I'm almost dead. My catapult is almost dead, boys. That's not good. That's really not good. We got to 
We're gonna actually bring down the wall so in this turn, so he's not gonna be able to attack me anyways. That's that's fine by me. With that catapult, we're gonna bring down the walls. We're gonna repair this catapult, uh, this one. At Rhodes was set up a colossus of 70 cubits high, representing the sun. The artist expended as much bronze in it as seemed likely to create a dearth in the mines. Okay, we got colossus done, boys. Over um, a crack in it, really beautiful as well, as beautiful as the uh, lighthouse. I really like the wonders in this game. They really are beautiful. Okay. We need a road to Bordeaux, boys. We really do need one. Actually, we already have one. It, that's what it says, but it doesn't look like we have one. Maybe we should instead then. Uh, no, you know what? Yeah, I really want to go for Bordeaux. It gives us more money. I would have gone for Principe, but I, I want to go for Bordeaux, boys. It gives us more stuff and whatnot. Production-wise, uh, we we do have stuff over here that we can build. We also have a, a couple of wonders as well. Let's go for the audience chamber first, though. Okay, we got that. Uh, we do have another envoy, so let's just send him over here. Okay, we got all these suzerains. I'm gonna get this one as well. Okay, so I didn't get any more any new suzerains. I'm gonna need to focus more to get more of the uh, these guys if I want to really focus. Let's uh, fortify on the until hill for that unit. Bring down the walls over here. Boom! There we go. No more walls over uh, Uli Mapu. The walls are down. They can't shoot at us anymore. I'm gonna upgrade that unit into a crossbowman. There we go. Uh, this unit, I'm gonna send it over uh, over the, the battlefield, of course. Okay, and this, you can start attacking. Yeah, you can start attacking the city. And I'm gonna need to actually heal up really quick my units right here because they're... Yeah, the Jack Rockham's almost dead. That's not good. Okay. We got our catapults. Let's continue bombard with this one. Uh, this little encampment. Really uh, deal with them. Take care of them. Destroy that encampment once and for all. And really, I kind of want to. Yeah, I want to get over here. Start attacking right here. So start making my catapult right there. I'm gonna send my archer right here. I continue the assault on the fortress, not to let them heal up too much. Alright, there we go. Uh, we are gonna send our swordsmen over here. We're still in healing up these three uh, swordsmen, so we need to focus on that as well. Okay, we don't have anything else right now. Let's just continue to skip the turns. Really, Toronto's doing a great job, boys. I'm really happy that uh, they're doing so well. We actually just got an upgrade for that catapult. Uh, so we're gonna give him that upgrade. Combat string versus land units when defending. Uh, versus land units. We are gonna prov provide that assault against these guys. No, we're gonna start attacking the walls. We really need to start attacking the walls because they're attacking us now. So we need to give them trouble, boys. We really need to do that. I'm gonna... Up, oh, I need to upgrade the archers as well. Okay. I think my swordsmen are already almost healed up. Uh, I'm still working on all of this. So I'm still working on this city right here. With my two catapults. There we go. Still healing up this uh, catapult right here. Um, it's not going to do any damage. So I want to fortify you. And I do want to fortify you as well, really. I really do want to do that. Okay, send uh, this crossbowman over here. And uh, this crossbowman, let's send it back as well. There we go. So really, we're doing a great job, boys. Um, I don't really know what I should do next. As, I, uh, as you guys know, I'm really working on the war right now i really want to end the video when once we actually take one of the cities but it might take uh, this might take a long time since they just got an upgrade and everything 
I don't know. We're gonna have to see. All right, I'm gonna accept that peace, boys. Um, they offered me peace in exchange for 11 gold per turn and five gold right away. Uh, now my new policy is gonna be at least give me at least 10 gold per turn, and I'm gonna accept the peace, especially when they are way farther than me. So I don't have to do the war. Like this war was pretty pointless for me, except for XP basically. I really don't need it. I really didn't need that war to be a thing. So let's accept that, make peace already so I can like focus on something else than just these far away cities. So we made peace. The cities are gonna be fine now. All right, and uh, they're at peace with all my children as well. So really we were about to destroy the the entire country itself because they really had no chance against us with all my like I have five suzerains in total so it was like six countries in total going after them they had no chance so of course they managed to make peace with us that's fine by for them and for me okay I'm gonna unequip that okay so all of this this these are all my units uh, really I don't need your units anymore, but I guess I still have them. Technically, I have to get it to to keep them for another 25 turns. So what can I do with them? That's my biggest question, boys. What should I do with these units? I have them. They're right there. I just need to know what I should do with them. So let's just send all of them back uh, towards my territory. No, 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 no. Towards my territory. There we go. We're actually going to send back, I guess. My crossbowman. We're going to send him back over here. We're going to send back to Okraki and Net. He's going to uh, keep an eye on the, my cities, I guess. I really want to send back all my units, actually. Because the war is over, so I might as well like go somewhere else. I'm actually going to heal you up right here. No, no, let's go over there. Let's go over there. Yeah, sure. Okay, and you catapult everybody. Go, just send everybody back. There we go. Send everyone back. We should be good. Okay, so I'm just gonna focus on that. I'm gonna send everyone back. I uh, just made peace. I think there's nothing else going on. I've got two quadrums. I don't really want to quickly purchase another one. Um, do I have like? Another bigger boat. No, that's the best boat we got as a available to us. So that's the best things we got so far at their disposition. I don't have any more like better army or whatnot. So really don't have anything to do. Wait, hang on. Is this? Let's actually give him a name because he doesn't have a name. We're gonna make her Mary Reed. So she, he's gonna be or she's gonna be Mary Reed or crosswoman. Okay, let's get him over there. Reformed church is done. Okay, we got that. And we are at one point away from having the golden age once again for the next era, boys. So I think we're going to pretty much unlock it. We're at this point, I'm pretty sure we're going to unlock the golden age for the next era as well. Uh, let's just send our units back like I was doing. Everyone, go back. Go back, everyone. Oh, we got this. Uh, we also have... Okay, all these units. I'm just going to send back all these units. You guys... Okay, I can skip that for you guys. It's going to be pretty boring to see that. Really, there's nothing going on. Let me just send back this unit right here. Fortify him. There we go. We really don't have as much um, barbarians as we used to, though. That's one thing I did. I did uh, manage to like understand really quick is that I never see barbarians like there's barbarians in this side but not where I am like my cities and whatnot there's no barbarians or whatnot so we're, it's pretty it's pretty quiet on my side of things let's just there we go do that I actually have open borders with these guys I'm exchanging mercury and ember in exchange for their open borders and they gave me 10 goals per turn I'm gaining like almost 200 per turn. It's crazy, boys. I'm gaining so much money. Okay. We're going to focus on one of these two mercenaries. I guess we're going to go mercenaries. Would be pretty interesting to have that. 
Okay, uh, new government uh, option. So we do have theocracy. I'm gonna actually keep more monarchy because I do like monarchy a lot, boys. I do like it a, a lot. It's a uh, seems like a good thing. Plus, for combat strength, when a non-religious unit fights a civilization, follows another religion. No, not really. All religious units plus five religious strength in theological combat. You see, nah. I'm not interested in these. I'm really not. And yeah, that's, there was another one right here. Extra faith from building all these sites. I think I'm doing fine with faith as well. Really, I have everything I need. I really do have everything I need, boys. There's nothing I have to do right now. It's pretty quiet. I have lots of money, lots of faith. Really, it's... I really don't know what I'm supposed to do, really. You know what? You want to attack him? Just fine. Just attack him already. Attack the Barbarian. That's a, a tie? No, okay. All right. They basically uh, lose as much damage to uh, as to each other. We get castles, boys, so we can have medieval walls now. Nice medieval walls would be will be really good for us in the long term. Uh, this guy is pretty over. He's done for. We're gonna continue to go over there and search for the area. Uh, I'm gonna continue to send these guys back. There I go. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna just continue to s send everybody back off time. And uh, military tactics, we've got stirrups, military, uh, military engineering as well. What do we need for gunpowder actually? Gunpowder is gonna be something that's really gonna be important, boys. We need an armory, build an armory. And how do I get that? I get, I need military engineering. So we're gonna have military gen engineering, boys. Uh, we're gonna take that. Take all these guys back. There we go. Take all these guys back to their former territory. Or to our territory, I should say. Doing great, boys. Uh, anybody else? Yes, there's still this unit right here. So, so many units, boys, I need to move. It's unbelievable. Alright, we need a new production over uh, Kake Inlet, boys. I'm just gonna stop it, uh after this I'm gonna stop it after this boys um, so let's just build the medieval walls already over to a crack inlet so it's gonna be done uh, me governor title we oh we do have another governor uh, governor so let's promote this guy now or this girl uh, your other cities will uh, gain loyalty other cities will not home by you Gain plus no, I want this prestige. There we go. I want the prestige. Okay, and I actually built quickly purchased uh, a settler, boys. So we're gonna send a settler over here. I want. I said earlier, way earlier, that I wanted to have a settler over here. So we're gonna have a, 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 a city over here. So we're gonna have a city over that little island. We have something new, I think. At least that's what's telling me. I guess not. Uh, at least you guys can let me know if there's actually something new I did I missed or something. Uh, yeah, I'm still focusing on re like getting back all these units on the on my side on my territory. It's gonna be it's gonna take a while. They're really far away. And what is this builder doing here? Actually, we have a builder right here. I don't know what he's doing here. I completely forgot about that. Well, since I don't know where to what to do with him, let's just send him back to a crack in it. I don't know why he was all the way over there, boys. That is just really weird. So I'm just gonna end it for right uh, for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna see you guys for next time. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to the end of the video. Keep it easy, boys.